How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews. Back to get another review. Long time coming. Kind of review in a form of Phantoms. Season. Um, where do I begin? I have not opened a bottle. This is a, kind of a caveat to that. I haven't opened a bottle of Phantom in a very, very, very long time. Uh, God, it's got to be at least minimum 15 years, if not longer. Um, but yeah, I had a bit on draft about a year ago. I was at a bar, and they had some, and it slowly creeped back in my area. I saw it on the shelf not too long ago, but the prices were a little bit kind of exuberant. Um, but I still was kind of chomping at the bit to get one. I was past one the other day, couldn't couldn't help myself and picked it up. So not at that price point either, so I'm kind of excited about it. But anyway, Phantom I used to crush these back in the day. Uh, I remember drinking these like they were just like a eh, whatever kind of beer, you know, around the turn of the century, around the year 2000. So about 17 years ago, I was putting these away like there was nobody's business. And uh, they just went away, you know, just distribution dried up in my area. Um, couldn't really find them. I know they kind of made it to States. Shel I believe it's a Shelton Brothers. Yep, Shelton Brothers import. And uh, you'd find them, just didn't get them in their area. But they are back. So we will review it. Exciting story. As far as what it says else on this uh, bottle here, it says, let's see, product of Belgium. Brewed and bottled by Brass, Brasserie Fantôme, Soy Belgium. Uh, it's a Belgian ale brewed with spices. In the back here it says, Fantôme is a classic Artisanal farmhouse brewery in the heart of the Ardennes Forest. Its, brew, its brews are in a robust, flavorful saison style and recall the early days of Belgian brewing. Uh, brewer Danny Prinon, I know, I'm going to screw that up, is known for his uh, regular Phantom Saison and the creative and adventurous brews he makes to mark each of the four seasons. The recipes change every year, but don't ask what makes them so tasty. The Phantom never gives up his secrets. Because they don't know. Um, and that'd be that. Shelton Brothers Import. No dating on here. Um, I looked. I kind of was like, okay, how old is this? Is it old or whatnot? Couldn't find any dating. The label looks newer. I don't remember the label being this kind of um, slick and shiny. I thought it was a little old school. And the last time I opened one of these, it had a date on it. And there's no date. I know it had a date on it. So, um, so yeah. That is not a date. That's a phone number. Um, so, yeah. Label-wise, it's awesome. Can't tell them. It's old ghost. Not forced. There we go. Got my uh, super tall, long stem tulip here. So, kind of keep that off that thing I usually put my beers on because you're not going to see me be able to pour this sucker. So, green bottle, you know, the bottle that everybody couldn't stand for years and now everybody covets so greatly. So, let's see what this sucker has to offer. Move that over there. See what she's got. I remember this being a bit more kind of uh, north of a saison, um, kind of verging in that kind of beer to guardy kind of area as far as its beefiness. I mean, this is coming off memory, um, not being more traditional saison. Let's put it that way. Uh, we're gonna find out. What do we have here? We have just under two fingers. Uh, has a decent creaminess to it, but I mean it's gravity defying creaminess if you really want to look at it. But it's dissipating relatively quickly. Um, what's left behind is this soft, creamy, slightly murky, kind of orange with a slight hint of like yellow and brownish kind of color to it. Uh, definitely has that kind of a little bit lighter than like an apple cider, homemade apple cider kind of vibe to it. But yeah, hazy, soft carbonation, just off whitehead bit more of a robust kind of uh, saison, something a bit more beefy. It's 8%, so it's a bit higher than your traditional kind of saison. So, let's see if we can get a nose on her. I'm getting uh, spiced, teed, dull fruits. I'm getting like almost like um, an under-ripened kind of, you know, apple and peach and pears with a little bit of kind of tea kind of tea vibes to it, a little bit of um, a tannicness to it, kind of, and a little bit of spiciness to it, but not like a spicy, like uh, like a robust kind of in-your-face kind of spiciness, more of kind of like a subtle kind of very light kind of pepperiness to it, a little coriander kind of vibes going on. 
there's an underlying kind of subtle, subtle, super subtle funkiness around the edges. But she does come off. Like I said, it kind of looked like a kind of lighter version of kind of like an apple cider. It, she comes off very much like that, actually, in the nose. She comes off as more a kind of lighter version of a slightly spiced and lightly sweetened kind of apple cider. Those are the kind of vibes I'm getting from it. Very kind of, uh, like, I don't want to say earthy. I want to say more kind of, like, real. Um, like, it was brewed in a place that gave it its flavor, which, you know, that's what it is. It's it's Phantom. It's, it's a, literally the definition of a terroir brewery, so you're drinking or smelling at this point um, what's basically in and around, you know, the brewery itself. She smells awesome. How's that? Let's cut to the chase. Make it simple. Let's dive right in. Cheers. Oh. Way spicier than I thought she was going to be. Pleasantly spicy. It's all pretty much on the back end, too. I'm getting super apple vibes from this. From the look, from the apple cider thing. Um, from the actual nose to the kind of like watered down kind of apple cider thing. This, I'm getting like a non sugar added kind of apple pie vibe from it. I'm getting that light, kind of fleshy, cooked apple. A little bit of cooked kind of pear kind of vibe. That kind of more. I don't want to say adulty fruit, but not as sugary, not as sweet kind of fruitiness, but it's been cooked, so some of that sugar has kind of been broken down a bit. Um, and then you have this kind of nice spicy coriander pepper, almost like a touch, a touch of kind of cinnamon to it. It's not in your face, but it's giving me kind of those cinnamon vibes, but it's definitely like a peach not peach, sorry, pear, apple, kind of menage of a slightly cooked down kind of fruitiness, a little bit of that spiciness going on, with just an underlying funk kind of thrown around the whole thing. That's perfect. That spiciness is way bigger than I remember. Way bigger. Maybe it's a freshness thing. Beers took a lot longer to cycle through back in the day, you know. If you got one of these bottles, typically, you know, months, or not even months, a year plus went by. Um, with how the way imports work nowadays and how coveted a lot of these beers are, this thing could turn around in, in weeks and in, in a couple months as opposed to a year plus. So it could be a freshness thing, maybe something I've never really had before. Something getting the beer a little bit more fresh than I'm used to. Like I said, there's no dating on it. Um, this has, this is lot. Phantom uh, Soy, it looks like Lot 9, and then it has a bunch of numbers on it, but that's a telephone number. Um, so, uh, I don't know if Lot 9 means anything. I'm sure they're way past Lot 9, because I remember having these beers around 2000, and it's been more than nine years. So, anyway, um, but yeah, super pleasant beer. Uh, lives up to what I remember, but at the same time is different than what I remember. Um, the, the, the the pleasurableness, the actual like enjoyment of the beer is, is what I remember uh, having when I originally had it, um, you know, 15 or so years ago. But I just remember it being a little bit meatier, but not as spicy. But it kind of works. And I think I'm actually allergic to something that's in here, to be perfectly honest with you. I get this weird kind of allergic reaction that is this like prickliness on the inside of me. Um, when I eat or drink specific things, I don't know what it is. And I'm kind of getting it right now. I'm not going to die. It's not like a thing where I have to take any kind of like um, medicine for it or anything like that. It's just this subtle kind of allergic reaction. So um, allergic reactions be damned because I'm going to drink the shit out of this bottle tonight. So there you go. Um, so let's talk about it. Is this one of the better saisons that I've had as of late? Yes. Uh, is it a saison? Uh, sure. I mean, that's what they're calling it. So I'm going to call it that. But, you know, gun to my head, I don't know what it is. It's somewhere between a Cezanne had a baby with a Belgian gold, a triple who had a baby with a beer to guard. So it's kind of somewhere in the middle of all that stuff. Um, the value of availability, I haven't been able to get it for 15 or so years, but I can get it now. And it was $14 for seven fifty. For me, I have no qualms at that price point at all so i will be drinking a bunch of this thank you very much and um leave you with if you like what will you like this
if you like Belgian beers, if you like yeast forward beers, if you like that whole kind of apple pie kind of ride I went on, um, and you just keep in mind that it's not a sweetness thing, it's not a candy thing, it's not a, it's not a dessert thing, it's more savory, um, it's not a savory beer, but it's, it's not, it, 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 it bounce it off in your mind with savoriness, you know what I mean, it's not as sweet as you think it would be, uh, if you like that, and if you just like, um, beers that taste like what you imagine a brewery looks like. Is that a little too esoteric? Is that the word I'm looking for? To uh, speak that way? It's kind of what I expect. I mean, I expect if I went to the brewery and I walked around and I huffed and I puffed and I didn't blow the house down, but I smelled a lot around the brewery. This is kind of what I assume it smelled like around there. Um, except for, you know, poor shit and stuff like that that would come typical of a farm. Um, yeah. If you like a... If you like a... I don't know. Romanticizing. That's what I'm doing right now. It doesn't suck, though. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, didn't, anywhere in between. Down there, words and stuff and things. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, Massive Beers, all four of those places if you want to check this dude or out somewhere else. And yeah, another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice fan tone right now. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>